All right. I know you guys are going to roast me. I promise you this will be one of the last videos with the Halloween. All right. I, one of the last ones. Now, you guys have to let me know in the comments down below. Do we want to move to a Thanksgiving one or a Black Friday one? Because I have to send that along to somebody to get that done. I'm thinking it's way too early for Christmas. So, I mean, I assume that you guys would agree with that, that it's a little too early for the Christmas one. So, that's assumed by me. But anyways, guys, how is your night going? I was actually not going to upload another video today. And to be honest, man, FIFA is just kind of slow at the moment, man. I don't know what it is, but not in terms of the numbers. You guys are supporting me. Honestly, it's insane. So, thank you guys for the consistent support because it is just mental. The amount of support that you guys give in my uploads is just something else that I can't explain. So, again, to all of you, thank you. Okay, thank you for watching. And just let me know in the comments below what, what kind of face cam slash theme you guys want. So, what we're going to be doing tonight, um, obviously the market is in a rather fragile state, is what I will say. Um, and I think what you're seeing, before we talk about anything with tonight's upload, because there is going to be a specific... The specific part of tonight's upload is Road to the Final Cards. I want to talk about them with you guys, and I want to look into them as, as investments, right? A little bit more than just, hey, when to buy these cards, right? Talk about them, who they are playing against in the future as their team. Talk about the card. Give you guys a little bit more perspective on like the actual cards that we have in the game, right? So, But just to talk about the market, those are players from a draft. I mean, guys, literally, like I have sold... Probably like 20 to the 40 icons the last 48 hours, but I bought almost 100 because they're so crazy in undercuts. And you guys can see here on my transfer list, I still can't sell a ton of them. I still have a ton of icons on my transfer list. So the market in general, there's not a lot of buyers at the moment um, at all. Like at all, there's not a lot of buyers. So it's been a little bit of a struggle on the market uh, in terms of making coins. So I don't want you guys to think watching this video that I am making coins because I'm really not. And most people right now are losing a ton. So you guys are not alone. I have this team. I can't really control... When the community decides that, hey, they're going to sell their whole team because they're mad at gameplay, or when EA decides to crash the market or not crash the market, that is that variable for me is so hard to control. So I just want you guys to understand that I'm always giving you guys my best effort in terms of the market and trying to understand what's going on. I can't always get it right. And what we're seeing right now, I actually wanted to talk about it right now because what we are seeing on the market right now is very, very similar um, to the market that we saw last year before Black Friday. Now, that was a little bit more central towards the sell-off of Black Friday. Right now, it doesn't feel like that. I don't know what people are selling for, but everybody's selling. And my true test, it's going to be very interesting to see, do people buy back this weekend? Are they going to buy back? Are they going to buy these players back? Are the icons going to go up? Because for me, the icons really dictate the market. And you can see if, I mean, if you're a general FIFA player, I mean, you guys can see that the icon market is just getting rocked right now. Uh, these Soul Campbells, let's show you guys this one. So, this guy I got for five ninety. This dude sold for seven twenty five last Friday. All right, he's still not even selling at six. I still can't even sell him at six forty four. So it it is pretty crazy out here in terms of the market and and the the panic and all that. And then before I think we get into anything else tonight, I did want to go over with you guys the icon swaps um, because these were released today. Now my thoughts on them is that there's just too much rivals here. Now for me, I need nine more swaps. So what I'm gonna go for uh, is I'm gonna definitely do the Brazilian squad rivals one. Um, and I'm going to do the first owner one while I do one of these, and then I'll do three of the leagues. So if I do three of the leagues, I get this first owner one done, uh, you know, while I'm doing the three leagues and then I'm doing the five Brazilian players. That's going to be five rivals wins. Um, and then that's going to be across these three. It'll be 12. Cause then I can do the one club wonders while I'm doing the others. So that would be five tokens. And I believe that would be 17 wins. So, I mean, that's 17 wins right there. And then if you go look this is where it's a little bit tough because what I, what I didn't love today about what EA did, I know this is supposed to be hard, but I mean, these icons are kind of mediocre. We have 18 wins here across these three, 23 there. So you're looking at for me, I mean, what I need to get to Nettie because I have eight right now. I have to get nine more. Um, I'm going to need at least like 40 plus wins. Um, and that's tough, right? This is also an interesting one because they've they've said win five squad, squad battle matches minimum legendary difficulty using 11 EFL championship players. Like, that's kind of hard. I've played to top 100 squad battles before, and that's not easy to do. Like, getting legendary wins is not easy within itself. So to have 11 championship players, even with subbing three dudes in, like a Neymar or whoever you have in your club, that's really not the easiest to do. So EA have definitely gone all out, and I think for all of us, it's something to consider that for the next Icon swaps, you know, maybe we don't go into deep with farther on swaps. Maybe we have to be like, hey, we have to do all the first swaps because I didn't do all the first. I only did eight because I assumed that the challenges would be pretty similar. And, well, they've upped the games on all these, right? There's four wins now for each one. So 
it does just become that much harder to get that extra player, especially if you want a guy like Drogba. I mean, EA today kind of came out and just slaughtered you. I mean, this is a lot of stuff. Now, the counter argument is that should you be able to get a free icon? Obviously not. Shouldn't be able to get a free icon, but you have to think about it like this. I mean, I brought out some Microsoft. Uh, I don't know if it was Microsoft Paint or Sketchpad earlier, but we basically did the math via Sketchpad earlier, guys. Uh, and, and the math comes out to really tell you that, well, I, I think it's going to cost you guys like a lot of time. I'll show you guys right here. If you guys take a look at my Sketchpad. So 50 times 17, uh, that's 850 minutes. Uh, this is for like 50 games, I was going to say, because I need like 40 wins. That's like 50 games for me, right? 850 minutes, because you say 17 minutes on average per game with the wait time, 850 minutes. Um, for most people, it'll be 1,000 plus because they're getting all the tokens. Uh, I, only need, I only need to grab nine. And then, so you're going to say for me, roughly it's 14 hours, right? 14 hours of playing this game for these, not just playing this game, playing it's like homework, right? Because you're playing for these tokens. It's not really like achievements that you can get while you're going. You have to do these specifically. And then most people is going to be about 15 to 17 to 20. Uh, and then look, so for me, Zanetti is going to be about 900 to 1.1 when he's on the market, his prime, whenever that comes out in December. So I have to look at it like, hey, can I make that many coins in 15 hours? And yeah, if I was dedicating my time to straight coins on bids going hard, I think I really could make about 1.5. So is it worth it? It, it depends, right? It depends how you view that. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys my sketching really quick there because I think it's relevant, man. I think my sketching is good and I think you guys should see that, hey, we've worked it out. So anyways, guys, I mean, really more what the upload was about tonight is I want to talk about some of these. I mean, look, I could sit here and talk about the market dying and stuff. I don't really want to like propel a crash, right? It's not great. It is what it is. It's a Monday night. What are you going to do, right? We've got a few days left to the weekend league. The demand is pretty low, but I wanted to talk about a few of these road to the final cards. Um, and maybe just a little bit more about the guys uh, and, you know, their situations in their group um, and things like that. So I don't know the full story. The first one that I want to start off with uh, with you guys is Eder Militao. Now, EA kind of basically did a scan at the last event and asked everybody what their favorite card was. And they all said Militao. Now, Militao has risen a lot today, about 30,000 coins because there was no real pack supply. Um, this guy is probably one of the top three center backs in the game at the moment with this specific upgrade. He's got 81 pace, 84 defending, 84 physical. He's going to 84 rated overall. He's medium high. Now, Real Madrid seem like they're starting to build some kind of form. Um, and I do think, I mean, I think they're going to make the knockouts. We'll see, but I think they will. Um, the thing is that even just with one upgrade, this guy's an 86. And I think for me, this guy is pretty much with what, I mean, even as it is right now. But with one more upgrade, he is 100% usable until the team of the season. So I think you have to like look at that and realize that that's a big deal. Um, this is a very, very in-demand card. Now, it is a center back, so I remember last year Van Dyke never really got too high, but I think if you guys can grab him at 450 or under in the next few days, I do think this is a guy that you're going to try to have to get before weekly rewards. I think that would be my calculated bet because I think post weekly rewards, he may go down in price, and I think you want to try to grab him before he goes out of packs, I believe. Now, we'll have to see you know, as time goes on, but I think today, not today, but I think tomorrow, Wednesday would be potential buy times for Militao, because I think just on weekly rewards, he's either going to stay the same or go up. So I think you don't really want to risk it. So I wanted to talk about Militao because I like that card a lot. Um, I don't really know how Roma is doing in Europa League. I don't, I don't know much about it, but I would say that, you know, this is a car. Let me, let me look this up. This is a car though. Um, that would be fantastic, man. So Roma in their group have won a game, tied a game, tied a game and lost a game. Um, but I would say, I would say to you guys, if they, well, while we're looking at it, I've got the groups up now. So Roma right now are in third place in their group behind Mitch and Gladbach. Um, I don't know who they play in their next game, but their next game is pretty big. So if Roma ends up winning their next game, I mean, this card is going to be phenomenal uh, with a few upgrades, like even just one upgrade, because the way the upgrades work, I mean, you'd be looking at this card going, I believe, to 83 and then the next game to 85. So two upgrades on this card would make this card unbelievable. He's 30,000 coins at the moment. I mean, this is a guy that I think you could buy on rewards day. Um, I, I think that his supply is pretty heavy, um, but he's a very meta center back. He's also Brazilian, which is great for links. Roma, 79 pace, 82 defending, 83 physical. So there's just a lot to like about what this card has. Um, so I already, I'm, I'm looking at this card thinking this is a winner um, as an investment. And from in my opinion, this is already a winner. 
Um, so I like this one a lot. It's a it's a very good one in my opinion. So I would I just kind of wanted to point that out to you guys. Then I also wanted to look at PSV with you guys and talk about Doom Freeze because Doom Freeze has a really good card, but it's all it's all dependent on where PSV is. So PSV is in Group D, uh, and they're actually tied for sec they're actually tied for second place right now. They're actually in third because they have a worse goal difference. Again, I don't know who they play in their next game or two, but I will tell you that they're definitely competing in the in the group. And I think you have to watch this because this could make Doom Freeze a little bit undervalued right now. Doom Freeze with an upgrade or two will go insane in price. Uh, he's a very, very good card, this FIFA. And I think you have to look at that as something to invest in. Um, if he does get that upgrade, it goes to 84. The next one goes to 86. In my opinion, the biggest gems for the way that these cards upgrade are always the ones that are like 81, 82. Because if their team wins and goes to the knockout stage and then wins a knockout stage... They really do like increase a ton. I mean, you're talking the difference between a player from an 81 to like an 86 is just crazy, right? Like, it's a really big deal to have that differential, in my opinion, of um, of rating. So that I wanted to point out. I think Wolves also makes for a really interesting one because Jimenez, as it stands, is 26k, and Wolves look like they are gonna go ahead and uh, and do well out of the group. So it looks like they will get the initial upgrade. And I like Wolves, man. I think they're a good team. So this guy will go to an 85 from an 83, and we'll have a decent card, man. I mean, it's not a bad card. It's a Prem Striker. It's 25K. Um, he reminds me a little bit of, like, a better Gerard Moreno, and even when Gerard Moreno was getting upgrades, I think he was, like, 40K. So I think this card is undervalued at 25. Again, guys, this is not a video telling you guys to pick these cards up. I'm telling you to look at them in the next two days if you have some spare coins, and if you want to play with them a little bit out of packs. I'm trying to give you guys, like, my two cents on them and, and kind of where they're heading in the future. I, I want to be careful with Neris because Neris has put we potentially have a Vinicius SBC coming tomorrow. If we do not have that, then I'm fine with this. But at the moment, I just think this card is a little bit overpriced. I don't really understand it. It's the five star skill hype. I think uh, is the main hype uh, around him at the moment. I think there's a lot of hype there. Don't really have a problem with Was uh, at the moment. I really like two guys from the main team. Um, the first guy that I really like is Alan. I think that they've basically almost like guaranteed to go to the knockouts. And if this guy goes plus two upgrades, I mean, to 88, it's crazy, man. And he's only 250K. So I could see this card being like 400 to 500 down the road as investors try to hop into it. Uh, I could see that card. I could see Allen really increasing. And he's in my main team right now. And he is very, very good. So don't sleep on that card. And then Mars really interests me as well because I, I think City's going to definitely, obviously, uh, you know, advance. And they could win a few rounds. I think as you look at this card as a Prem right winger. Talking an 88, 89, 90, that's a really, really good card. He's got five-star skills, got the four-star weak foot, obviously. He's got 89 acceleration, uh, 83 attack positioning, 93 agility, 87 balance, 80 finishing, 83 shot power, 84 long shot. So this card is another card that I think you guys will see a, a very big uh, overall upgrade in as they, as, they, as they progress. Now, what I'm going to do right now is also pull up some more of the Champions League stuff because right now what I'm very interested to see uh, is the groups I want to see where Leverkusen is in their group so Leverkusen unfortunately does not look like, like they're going through to the next round uh, they would have to take a real miracle in that group but I wanted to talk about with Wendell because this guy with an upgrade or two would be really 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 good but it's not looking like at the moment that they're going to really push ahead which is unfortunate they're not having a great Champions League Man City looks like they're almost going to go through for sure um, Bayern are basically going to go through they are 4 0 0 um, so that's a, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a lock. If you're interested in Coleman, he reminds me of like Quadrado Douglas Costa, where I think he is a little bit too overpriced, but Byron are getting it together, man. I mean, they just fired their coach, but they're playing really well. So down the line could be a good look. Conte obviously with an upgrade or two is sick. Um, you know, people are going to pay for that Conte regardless because he does have the upgrade. Mane's one that you'd be investing in for the road. Uh, you know, to the final, the end game. I think Sun and Mane are just overpriced right now. Even Dybala at 650 is a little questionable. Your your profit with these roads to the finals guys are going to be with the players that are, um, in my opinion, the players that are lower tier in price. So anything under 300K. And then obviously Sancho's not a bad look as well. They're obviously still competing uh, to get out. And this Sancho card would have tons of hype. I mean, this guy would have just another level of hype from road to the final. I mean, if they get upgrades, everybody's going to go for this card. So... Just another one of those cards that I wanted to point out in the video that if he does get the upgrade, Sancho is just a FIFA player. Like, people go crazy for Sancho, so I would I would definitely see this card growing a lot in value as he went out of packs. Um, now, in terms of that, that's kind of like my take on the cards out of packs in terms of, like, their progress. But 
in the cards I think that are going to push up already out of packs no matter what. I think you got to look at Allen. Um, Alan, he's going to push up out of packs. Uh, Sancho should push up out of packs a bit. In my opinion, Juan Jesus is going to push up a bit out of packs no matter what. Militao is going to push up. Dufries, Jimenez, Was. Um, I don't know about Usman Dembele. I, I, I think he's a good look, but he's not, he's 900K. It's very expensive. Um, and I think the, I think those lower, you got a few lower budget guys that are going to really instantly like push out of packs up after Friday. Now we also on Friday, guys, we're going to get, uh, three days of new ones in packs. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens in terms of the new cards that EA brings in. Um, I'm trying to give you guys content cause I know right now it's a little bit slow and there's not too much going on. So I'm trying to give you guys some extra videos and some things to do. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the video tonight, guys. I just want to give you guys my two cents on some of these players, my thoughts on them and, and where I like them down the line. You guys will probably see me picking up a Militao, uh, another Allen, a bunch of Juan Jesus, doing free Jimenez, and maybe like a Was. We'll do a little bit of a club stock video when I choose to start buying these guys. I'm trying to wait for a little bit more pack supply and, you know, just wait out the week a little bit. I don't really care if I pay too much overkill because I just like to make sure that, well, I'm not over, uh, I'm not under, or I'm not buying too early. That's kind of what I always like to, like to look at. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys soon. Peace.